Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how we can display a multi-select choice column as checkboxes in the Power App. So, in general, when we have a multi-select choice column in a SharePoint list, and if I use that column in the Power App, uh, in the user interface, it will display you a combo box where we can select multi uh, multiple values let's get into the app and see how it can be uh, displayed uh, so let's see let's create a simple canvas application here uh, blank app i'm creating so while it is uh, loading uh, let me go into the sharepoint list in this uh, sharepoint list uh, i have a list called training it has only two columns very simple uh, title column is renamed as full name we shouldn't be but uh, it's a full name column and uh, the technology column is a choice column and if you see the list schema uh, for the uh, technology column it is a simple multi-select choice column so it is a choice column uh, with multiple options here and the additional setting I, I did was check boxes allow multiple selections so when I select this option, will it automatically show this field in the Power App as checkboxes? No, it does not. But it only allows the user to select multiple options. So let's see what, what is happening when I add that uh, particular field in the Power App. So let me add the data connection, uh, SharePoint connector. So and communication side i'm adding the training list and then in insert the forms edit and if we let me edit the, add the data source for the form and uh, we do not need the attachments column and i would like to show in one column so we can see it in a big one uh, i mean the controls uh, will be will look bigger oh. I forgot to change the default mode is new and when we see it we defined this technology column as a multi-select choice column but when I added that field to the power app in the list form I mean in the form it shows me a combo box where I can select multiple options but I am in some of the use cases and the, mm, the business doesn't like these combo boxes they do not they want a check boxes where i can select these options uh, check and uncheck i do i want to do that so what uh, to implement that a simple use case uh, what i need to do is unlock this card first uh, unlock it and then simply add a gallery uh, in the card okay blank gallery and right now if you see when i added the gallery it actually added outside the form uh, don't worry about it just cut the control and select the card and go there and paste it so it will paste the card inside uh, it will place the gallery inside the card so now let's uh, resize the gallery uh, let's make it little bigger and here and um and here the data source for this gallery is not training i need to build a collection uh, where from which the gallery can read from so if we see uh, let's see the combo box how is it getting its values so if we see the combo box the values are coming from uh, the technology column in the training list so this is the collection so we can directly use that collection so let's put that and replace this custom one and we now the gallery is connected to the choice column now i want to place uh, one checkbox column so input checkbox control so i place that input checkbox control and this is the template of the gallery so i will resize that so that i can see all the options in the gallery at one time and also i will resize my form as well a little bit so that i can increase the gallery size so that we can avoid the scroll bar and we see all all of them as options so how do we get the value uh, what we saw in the combo box just because we assigned the values uh, to the gallery uh, so it is simple as uh, I, this item dot value then it will give you all the options uh, that we have it in the choice column 
so this is how we can get it but is this enough no we need to manage uh, uh, the submissions uh, when we are submitting the form it should submit the selected values and when we retrieve an existing item it should show the previously selected items uh, selected options as well so I already built an um, uh, an example with all of this uh, so instead of rebuilding I would like to go through that so let's get into that so this is the app where I built uh, um, uh, the example so if you if I play here uh, I this is the training dashboard I see all the items which I submitted so if I click on this one uh, the arrow it will show me all the uh, my name and also the options which I selected and if I go back and click on the new button, it will show me the new new form as well. I can say uh, Sarah and I will select only two options here again and submit. Once I submit, it will be taken back to the uh, dashboard screen and click on this one. So now we can see uh, only the two options for Sarah. So let's see how it was implemented so first thing um, we will see the new form how it was implemented so if we see the uh, new form the dashboard uh, in the training screen uh, let's select the gallery uh, the gallery which contains all the options i have uh, i created a collection called collection technology let's see where where was it created so on the app start I know like this is the SharePoint list form so I'm I already have a connection to the training list so I created on the app start I'm actually populating uh, the uh, collection called collection technology with all the choices from the choice field and I'm using that collection as the items property for this gallery items property for the gallery so once when i select any of these options i sh i need to know which options the user has selected so one um, so let's select this option uh, and in the gallery in the design mode and when i when you see on the right side there are two properties or i can select it here so on check and on uncheck so if you see on check I'm actually uh, collecting the selected value into a different collection altogether collection selected technology and what this collection uh, will contain is the currently selected item means this item dot value is getting um, stored in the uh, separate collection called collect selected technology okay uh, when I uncheck the same option uh, or a different option every time I need to see I'm using a different uh, function here called remove if remove if this particular collection contains my selected value so that's how I'm managing a custom created collection okay my own collection uh, this collection contains only the selected values so let's uh, see uh, let's uh, play a little uh, bit uh, to understand it so now I selected power apps and power automate and let me exit from the design mode and go to view and see the collections so i as i shown you earlier i got two collections one is collect collection technologies which is uh, all the values for the choice field and collection selected technology which will contain only the options which i selected so that's how i'm managing it so once uh, these uh, two collections are uh, managed when we select and unselect then I need to submit this data into the SharePoint list, right? Um, when I'm submitting the form. So what I'm doing is and on the technology data card, if you see on the update property, the update property is the one uh, which, can, which should hold your selected values. So I'm, uh, I, uh, I'm using the collection called collection selected technology that's the collection I'm populating throughout my selection operations so I I do that and uh, when I do it then it's directly writing into the SharePoint list when I'm creating a new item okay now uh, now let's see how I'm retrieving the existing items information and populating these values uh, so let's go back to the new form uh, 
uh, or the dashboard screen where I'm here when I click on uh, any of these existing values so when you see here um, when, when we come to the particular screen uh, means when this particular training screen or the new form screen loads on the screen load uh, on visible I am using clear collect um, to populate the second collection called collect selected technology and looking into the training list and the ID which I'm getting it from my previous screen and loading the technology values. So it is directly getting the technology columns values, uh, whatever I selected for this specific SharePoint list item ID. Uh, uh, so I'm getting into getting everything into this collection. And here, if we see the uh, again the checkboxes again, the default one, the default property now it will say okay the default property because it's a gallery right so this item if this item is means the current item is in the collection then select it so that's how i'm uh, managing it so we need two collections or we can avoid the first collection which holds all these values directly use the choices one but for to select i'm maintaining all the selected options in a uh, um, collection called collection selected technology okay here the default values are getting selected because my default property is having a uh, formula called this item dot i mean in the collection te selected technology so only the option will be selected if the current item exists in the um, the in my second collection okay this is how i implemented it so that's all i have and if you have any questions so please um, contact me uh, with my uh, in the form or uh, uh, in the youtube video okay thank you